Amanda, and I get asked multiple times, um, how easy is it to put Jamboree wraps on? Are they hard? It's actually super easy, and I figured what is the best option for me to show you just how easy it is. Well, I figured I'm not going to show you how to put them on me, but I'm going to show you how to put them on my three-year-old daughter, Lily. She's going to be my model today. She has chosen her favorite um, Snow and Ice Jamboree Junior wraps. Um, they are her favorite because they say uh, she thinks they look like the frozen wraps. So basically what I do is I pick out the five wraps that'll fit her nails and then I cut them in half. I cut them in half just because it makes it easier for me. Um, I don't have to worry about cutting them later or anything like that. Then the first step in applying any Jamboree Junior wraps is to clean your fingernail with alcohol. So I just have a cotton ball with some alcohol on it. I'm going to gently wipe her nail and this just cleans off any um, dirt, any residue, any oils that are naturally on your nail. And all it does is it gives it a good base for the Jamboree wrap to um, adhere to. Then I'm going to take the wrap and I'm going to choose the wrap that'll fit her nail without touching any cuticles or skin. If it does touch her cuticles or skin, it's just more likely to peel up and it, you will not get that um, seal around the edges. So I'm going to uh, select the biggest wrap. And I just use my um, orange stick just so that I don't touch it because if I touch it, it's less likely to stick to her nail because of the oils on my fingers. I'm going to then take my orange book and I'm just going to gently around the edge push back her cuticles. Then I'm going to use my Jamberry mini heater just to gently heat up the wrap. So I'm going to turn it on. And do you hear how quiet that is? That is one of the main advantages to the Jamberry mini heater. I'm going to put my wrap gently in front of it and I know it's ready when the edge starts just to curl up a little bit. And see at the end how it's just got a little bit of curve to it. It just makes it more um, malleable so that I can put it on her nails. So I'm going to gently take and I'm going to start at the base of the nail wrap and press it right onto her finger. Okay, and then I'm going to wait a little bit because you do not want to clip the uh, nail wrap while it is warm. Now you can use a file to clip it off, but with her it's just easier to use a fingernail clipper. It gives it a nice seal at the very end and I also make sure just to take a little bit of the nail just so you get that nice even seal at the edge of her fingernails. So now that it is cooled down, I'm going to take my clippers and I'm just going to chim uh, right around the edges of the nail wrap. So there's one. And then sometimes I have to go back just to make sure that I got a perfect amount. So I have done, I missed one little corner right there. Perfect. And I'm going to heat it up one more time. And she will let me know when it is hot. Hot that I know it's warm enough for her. And then I'm going to use my cuticle pusher one more time just to press the nail wrap back onto her nail and give it a nice seal because what makes the nail Jamberry Nails Wrap work is pressure and heat. So now she has two beautiful frozen um, uh, Jamberry Wraps on her fingers. They are non-toxic and made in the U.S. So if she does put her fingers in her mouth, I don't have to worry about any of those extra chemicals going into her body. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com, Jam with Amanda Goldie, or you can order right off my website, apeterson0926.jamberrynails.net. Again, my name is Amanda Peterson. Have a good day.